Hey guys, it's Monica. Oh my gosh, it's been a, it's been a crazy week this past week because I've been so busy at work. We have a new website launching and I'm in the middle of what we call Verani University, which is our um, when folks get their license, when they pass their exam to get their real estate license, that in no way prepares them for real life real estate. So we have a pretty intensive post licensing training course for new associates that is, um, I teach a lot of it, the majority of it actually. And it just encompasses my whole life. So that's, that's where I've been basically. Uh, and that's why I haven't been able to do a whole lot of videos, but we also went camping. Uh, I had a weekend away camping, and the cool thing is I was able to work out of one of our main offices, so I was able to camp and, and go to work and have just have a fun weekend. So we had a weekend away. This is two weeks ago. I've got a vlog coming, so I'm not going to say too much about it. But the other day, ageism, is that a word? Ageism is alive and well. The other day, I got a survey request from Sephora. Now, I shop in Ulta a lot more than Sephora because there are more Ultas near me. Sephora, there's a couple, but they're a little bit more of a distance. And so Sephora, I might do online more than in person. But needless to say, I have shopped in Sephora for years, years and Ulta and Macy's. Those are my three top where I shop for cosmetics on a regular basis. I also make a trek to the cosmetic company store, right? Because I love the prices in a cosmetic company store and I have two nearby, well within 45 minutes to an hour and a half. So I do those, but not all the time. Anyways, long story short, I got a survey from Sephora, an email from Sephora with a survey request that my opinion mattered to them. Could I take a few moments and please answer the survey? Well, I like Sephora. Sure, you know, absolutely. So the, the first question was uh, my, my uh, whether or not there was any kind of like myself or a family member if we worked for certain companies, which I, we don't. So I said no. So obviously maybe if you work for a cosmetic company, there might be conflict and I could see you not wanting to, they wouldn't want you to do the survey. So I answered no. The second question was my gender and they have all sorts of choices and I answered female. The third question was my age group and the last category was 55 and over. As soon as I hit 55 and over, guess what happened? <laughs> Stay tuned and find out. Oh, I know that was a wicked tease, right? So I hit 55 and older and the survey said, you no longer qualify. Thank you, but you no longer qualify. And then it booted me out. So then I tried to go back in my email and take it and it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me redo the survey. And I, I felt, I don't even know how to explain to you how I felt, but I definitely felt discriminated upon. And I know some of you are gonna go, oh, you're crazy and all that stuff. But as soon as I hit 55 or older, it booted me. It said I would no longer qualified. And that made me feel ageism is alive and well even in a store that I spend money in. And I said to Jay, I said, you won't believe what happened. And I said to a few other people, I put it on my Facebook page too. It really, it was a slap in the face from Sephora. I'm gonna rethink shopping in Sephora because they obviously do not value a woman who's 55 or older, or even if I was a man or whatever, answer I would have had to gender, it still advanced me to the next question. It was the age question that I no longer qualified for. Did not make me feel very good. <laughs> Did not. And I'm going to reevaluate where I spend my money. I really am. And that just really bothered me. So anyways, I'm going to try to be quick on this video because this is just a few empties. I really don't have a whole lot, but, um, oops, but, um, 
I've been wanting to get this video out to you. I've got a vlog coming, like I said, with our weekend up in Bailey's. We did some bike riding. We did some lighthousing and had, had a fun. So I've got a vlog coming with some of that and our anniversary. But this um, is just going to be purely my empties and what I have repurchased or tried to repurchase because some things I couldn't get. So first of all, soft soap, sweet honeysuckle and orange is... It's my favorite. I love soft soap. This lives in my shower. I don't even know how many of these I buy. I try to buy them when they're on sale. However, currently nothing is ever on sale anymore. So soft soap, have repurchased. Spent a lot more money than I have in the past on it, but I do love a good body soap that has a little bit of a fragrance, not over the top. Now, while I use this on my body, I have used other, like Sweet Spot, other soaps on my uh, my my delicate areas. <laughs> and um, I bought this one, Vag Vagacil, Vag Vagacil, and pH Balance. Bought this. It is all all gone. It was okay. It. It was okay, but I'm not going to buy it again. I'll probably try another another um, brand, but my favorite really has been Sweet Spot. I really like their intimate body soap and their wipes and stuff like that. I really do. I like them a lot, but this is gone, and I'm not going to rebuy it. Big Sexy Powder Play. Oh, my gosh. I have to have this for my hair. Big Powder Play, Big Sexy. Oh my gosh, you know, I love this stuff. This is a white powder, throw the empty away. This is ooh, a white powder and you sprinkle it on your hair, especially if you wear a lot of hats and you're gonna be out with your, your hair. Hats will squish your hair down. Everything will squish your hair down. And I've been wearing so many hats because of my mows, but even before that, Big Sexy here powder, Powder Play has been a staple in my hair care. So I love this. I repurchased this one. I bought this from my hairdresser, but you can you can sometimes scoff them at TJ Maxx, which I've done in the past, which is awesome. Um, the other thing, frownies. Frownies, I love my frownies. I have a new box and I wear a frowny. This one's empty, but I wear a frowny every night. And I usually, you know, it's like you, you tear off the shape. I put it right between where my 11s are, wet it slightly, hold it after I do my skincare, hold it down, press it, let it dry, and I sleep with it all night. 99% of the time I wake up in the morning, I don't have 11s. Of course, as the day goes on and I'm squinting in the sun, my 11s come back. But I start my day with my muscles totally relaxed and no frownies and, and no 11s, I should say. And I, I swear these are awesome. So these, there are other brands as well. I just find that these really stick good on my skin. So I love it. Have repurchased it, obviously. This, these, um... LV8 HC Gummies Juicy Fruit 10 milligrams. This was sent to me via the Octolian Network from LV8. And I, I'll tell you, I love these gummies. I thought these were, they, number one, they taste awesome. But number two, they actually relaxed me. So I went through these. I have another, another one coming. I went through these. I really like them. They... They work. What can I say? Really, really good. Finally emptied my glycolic acid. This is from Body Mary. I've had this for maybe three years or two years. I don't use it all the time. This kind of lives in my shower for those nights when I'm in the shower and I just need extra. I've been using the uh, exfoliation and the cleansing system from... Um, from Peaches Skin Care. So I probably won't buy this right now. I probably will purchase it later on, but I'm gonna wait till I go through most of my Peaches Skin Care Cleansing System, see how my skin continues to react. Then like I said, this just lived in my shower. Really like it. I finished one of my blinks. 
I am still using my eyelash serum, although I don't use it as regularly as I have, especially this year. Between my dry eye, I've been super careful. And then I had my Mohs surgery and I had ear surgery. So I, this year, I've slacked off on it. But my Blink Eyelash Serum, I've been starting it back up three times a week. I think it does wonderful. Love it. So I have my replacement. Maku, I have been using this on my face. Unfortunately, I have no idea what's going on with Maku. I think maybe they were a, a, a victim of success, maybe too rapidly. Maybe they didn't have a business plan. I have no idea. But I, I picked up a couple of these in Walmart. Hers, hair regrowth treatment, minoxidil. This is the this is the five percent solution, and this was the foam. And I really like this. However, I couldn't find it again. So and I was all out. So I ended up buying another one. And this is a tropical solution, and it actually comes with a dropper. It also comes with a pump if you want it to like pump it into the part of your hair. But this is the 5% Minoxyl, and this is from here for you. And we'll see how I do. I just started using this because I finally ran out of my other one, but we'll see how I do with this particular product. Am I seeing, even with hers, am I seeing any hair regrowth? No. What I have seen is that the fallout has decreased. And I don't know, my hair goes through seasonal cycles. So anyways, I have finished and tossed two of my lash, my la I have no more, my Lash Princess by Essence. This is the one in purple and this is the lengthening, volumizing eye, eye mascara. I love this. What is it, $3.99 or $4.99 from Essence? I love this, but this one is hard to find. So, I mean, I love these because you cannot, you can't beat the price, right? So I have been looking, I went into three of my local Ulta's and all three of them were totally sold out on the one in purple. And that is the one that I use over and over and over again and I love it, but these are dry and gone and I couldn't find a replacement. So one of the ladies in Alta said, have you tried the false lash effect, which is the one in green? I said, I haven't. She said, try it. She goes, I really like it. So I did, and that's what I actually have on my eyes now. And I'll tell you, I do have to put more coats on to get that lift but it's really nice. I've been using it for the last three days. It wears just like the one in purple, but I have to use more of it to get the same effect, at least for my lashes, but I really like it. So this is the one I bought in green, the false lash effect. If you can't find the purple one, this is really good. The other one that I bought was an other volume mascara, just better by Essence. And this has hyaluronic acid in it. And I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to open it and give it a try, but I haven't done it yet. I, I don't know how it's gonna work, but yeah. So I was so bummed that I couldn't get my, my lash, my mascara, because I love that mascara. So other than that, that's, that's it for my empties and what I have repurchased and what I am loving. But I, yeah, I just haven't spent a whole lot of money. And the Sephora thing is just really blowing my mind. It really is. I'm like going, hmm, not nice, Sephora, not nice. So I really, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, you know. It was, it was a wicked slap in the face. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, check out my vlog when I publish that because I'm going to include some of the trip that we were on up at Bailey's. And if you're a camper or a biker or, or you just, you know, like that kind of stuff, make sure you watch it. Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.